the person that we're speaking with today, that's sitting right here, uh, has literally changed my life. Um, you know, I think this idea that like we, we're all healers, you know, mm -hmm. and especially people drawn to Liberate and, you know, watching this, this podcast. And I love to like really support people in that. I think that we all feel like we have to arrive at a certain place. You yeah. know, to, to be uh, worthy of, of being a healer. But I think we all have a message. And I don't know. I just really love to encourage that in other people. That, yeah. you know, we're never there. We're never totally fully arrived. And then it's okay right now, today, to, like, step up and just do what you can to help people in whatever modality, you know, you want to use. Yeah. And, and for the people that aren't practicing healers but are mm -hmm. the ones, you know, coming in to work on themselves, being present to wherever they're at and yeah. how much they can uncover in that moment, right? Right. And and people are healing in different ways too, right? Music, yeah. writing, um, in their job and whatever they're doing, there's a way to always be of service. And I yeah. think uh, it's, yeah, it's a great place to be. And I feel finally, after 50 years, I feel like I finally get what it means to be of service. I know, I know you guys are looking at him right now and oh, yeah, being like, saying, there's absolutely no way that he's been on this planet for 50 years. I felt that too, and for, for a long time I wouldn't believe it, but you that's, know, how, no, that, 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 that's why you need the, the, the live, live look feel live, look feel book, so you can keep the, the, the youthful uh, tendencies. Well, thank you, and I didn't do that for, you know, a little ego thing, but I just realized, like, I just, I guess, again, that message of, like, it's never too late. Yeah. And we're all on a journey, and I don't know, for some reason, I didn't figure out, you know, that whole, I think it was more me, me, me for many, many years, because mm -hmm. we're all trying to survive and make things work, and I don't know, it's nice just to be at a place where, wow, I yeah. really wake up and I want to help people, yeah. and I don't know, that feels so good to me. It's like a huge shift, and I, I think breathwork is the reason I had that, like, that huge shift. So, I mean, probably about 25 years ago, I went to a healer who did some breath work. Mm -hmm. At the time, I didn't really know what was going on. I was lying on a table doing some deep breathing. Okay. And then I was sobbing, hugging a teddy bear, right? <laughs> like I'm talking, <laughs> sobbing. I don't know what was coming out of me. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, that feels good. <laughs> And, and I saw her for a, a bit. I know what you're thinking. Wait, wait, that, oh, that feels good. No, trust me. Like, when you really let out a deep cry, if you haven't, yeah. and you've been holding yourself back, it feels good after. It does. It feels so good. Okay, so you're hugging the Yeah, and then I moved out of Toronto. I'm from Canada, and, you know, so I couldn't see her anymore. And I just continued on different healing, a, a different healing journey, trying different things. And then had a little bit of rebirthing, which is another style of breath. Uh, which was really powerful. And then just about three years ago, I went mm -hmm. to a small uh, men's group that was doing breath work. Okay. And I didn't really want to go. My friends, like, you know, just come on. And so I went, and am I ever glad I went? It was like one of the most powerful, life changing experiences for me. Wow. Sweating, cold, um, you know, chakras popping open, <laughs> lots of emotion, things that, you know, I wasn't really expecting. And I was hooked. So I started to do it daily, started to go to classes, and then studied with a couple of teachers. I just knew that if I could feel shifts so quickly, you know, I, I just wanted to really incorporate that and help others. That's, that's <laughs> magical. And, you know, I always say that it's one of the first, it's one of the most powerful things that any skeptic of whether we have energy or energy centers or that we are energy, you know, uh, that if you go and you do a breath work and you do it right, mm -hmm. you're going to feel things like you never felt anything before. You know, talk about how people's hands curl and like yes. they get stuck. And talk, tell, tell me about it. You <laughs> yeah. Know, like, and by the way, Christina's been to my class many <laughs> times and you can breathe. This girl can breathe. And you like, you give it. And that's the thing. I always say the more you put in, the more you get out at the yeah. end. Um, yeah. So yeah, but sometimes then I'm a little lazy and it's been a totally. long, long day. And, and I realize <laughs> that, you know, I still have a pretty deep like experience, but yeah. it's not the same as if right. I'm really pushing myself. Man, my hands go like this. I can't move. And they're like stuck. I feel like I have like... I became a crab. Beep, yeah, it's beep, called beep, beep. Uh, tetany. T e t a n y. Tetany. And why does it happen? Tetany is um, is the releasing of carbon dioxide. Okay. Uh, from the body, and it's like a, a bit of an imbalance to okay. how we normally walk around with oxygen and carbon dioxide. Mm. So when it leaves an excess from the body, it can cause some restriction, some numbness, some tingling, and then this claw-like hand. Right. Sometimes you're you're lying there, your hands would be like this. And it's freaky at yeah. first. <laughs> once it's happened, you understand it's normal. And then once we relax, everything goes back. 
Yeah. But yeah, you can feel tingling and uh, numbness in your feet, your legs, um, restriction in the body, yeah. yawning, um, emotion of all types can come up. And it's 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 crazy in one sense <laughs> because you know you're just breathing, <laughs> but this experience is really out of this world that happens to people. And it's it's you can't even put it into words. I still try to like describe what it's like and you can't really put it into words. You have to experience it. Yeah. Um but I do say that it cracks you open and that sounds so harsh, right? But we all build up walls, I think, day to day cuz you mm -hmm. know, we've been hurt and we don't want to feel too deeply cuz then we'll be disappointed. There's all this stuff. Yeah. But it just like or we can even say it peels back layers if we yeah. want to do more gently. And each uh, time you sometimes do Sometimes that's not too gentle. Yeah. I have to say that hugging the teddy bear that you described. That was cracked that, open. <laughs> that, that, that was, that's cracked open. And that's what experience. I think like the, the first one in yours, mm -hmm. but by the second one in yours, I'm like, Falling, <laughs> sobbing so bad, like like I'm lucky. It's in a dark room, so you don't have to worry. Loud and you music. can have bl blindfolds on or, or mm -hmm. you know whatever eye covers Loud on, music. and so loud music, and everybody's crying too. And I've seen every walk of life come through those those doors, and from people that have that really tough exterior oh, that yeah. you can tell like they probably haven't cried in 20 years to I had somebody you know, say that you know I hadn't so, cried in 20 years yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have like you know the you know softer person that might you might you know judge and say that they might cry you know a couple times a week mm -hmm. and you, everything in between but everybody has these massive deep levels of transformation and in touch exactly and I was like literally at a place I can't really explain it I mean I've talked to you about having some anxiety and depression and other things, you know. But there was like, the, it was like, I couldn't quite feel joyful. Mm. You know, there was like, I was right here and I knew joy was here and I couldn't get there. Yeah. And, and something happened with the breath work so quickly that like I was able and I am able to feel so much love and so much joy. I could yeah. cry talking to them. Like, you know, it yeah. just keeps you so open and, and raw that I knew I was onto something because I can't be the only one who's walking around a little bit numb. Yeah, I think a lot of people are, especially now so more today than ever before. Uh, I've seen I, a lot of cool shifts in my relationships, a lot, uh, where before I was judging them. Uh -huh. You know, there's the ego, right? Always wants yeah. to make you right and them wrong. Parents, for example. <laughs> yeah. And there's always things that you can pick on. But, boy, when, it, when you get softer and you realize we're all in it together and mm -hmm. nobody's perfect, and then you can do some of the whole ponopono Oh, yeah, let's talk about that, because when did you get exposed to the Honopono? Many, many years ago. Um, and what is Honopono? We need to tell yeah. people, too. <laughs> Ho'oponopono, or people say it very differently, uh, it's an ancient Hawaiian healing practice. Mm -hmm. I've read about it, I learned about it many, many years ago, and I th always thought it was fascinating. But again, until breathwork, I never really felt the words. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I used to repeat them, but I couldn't quite feel it. So I was at home practicing on my own, and I just thought, wow, wouldn't it be a good time now to bring in some Ho'oponopono? And I started to do it on myself, and that just deepened the experience. And I knew I was on to something, breathwork mm. and Ho'oponopono. Yeah. Um, and so it's been around <laughs> thousands of years in, in Hawaii. It's like a family. Pr they often use it in families to help mm -hmm. um, merge and mend relationships. And um, it basically stands for correction. Okay. In, you know, there's different descriptions to it. <clears throat> You're like correcting a situation. And yeah. so there's four phrases. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And thank you. Mm -hmm. And the whole motto and the whole idea of it is that we take responsibility for everything in yeah. the world. Uh, all the bad stuff that's happened to us. Uh, all the stuff that's going on in other people. We can take responsibility. Because, you know, we're all connected. Mm -hmm. And even if somebody has really wronged us, maybe if we can understand that our soul has attracted it in some yeah. way, even if it's like 2%, if we can own 2% of it, yeah, then it helps us from being a victim. There's You take that honopono and you have mm -hmm. people apply it to their self, mm -hmm. to their mom, to their dad, to different experiences. Yeah. And you do take it a step further. You don't just have it be the four phrases, but you take yes. the principle of it. Yeah.